This is how you view the medical record templates. If you want to see examples of other templates, go to EHR and then go down to Import Templates. Move this over here. And first thing you have to do is back up the existing templates. So you click on that and save the file wherever you want to save it. And then, um, then once you do that, this Connect to Crystal PM Server shows up. So you want to click on that button, and these windows pop up, and it says Gathering Data. It'll take 5, 10, 15 minutes for those to, um, to load. Okay, so we've got the records loaded. And if you look on, um, if you click on a name, okay, you'll see the tabs that this office has, and you'll see the letters that they have over here. Oops, where's one with records for procedure? Okay, and this is uh, this one has records for procedure in there. So if you want to view the the things. You pick the um, the tabs. You pick an, an office that has some that look interesting to you, and hit Display Tabs, and it opens up like a sample medical record. You can go through and change the tabs, view the different um, setup that they have, the different buttons that they have. You can view the F9s. You can put data in there. Um, and this, this is just like a demo. It's not putting data in into any patients. It's just to view the different things. When you close it, it's gone. Okay? And you can open more than one at once. The problem is that I don't see any oops, sorry, um, display tips. I don't see any identification of what template this is from. So you'd have to like write down uh, you know what office it is, and then you can open another one. And if you can tell by the tabs, you, know, you could potentially go back and forth between some, between multiple, um, multiple um, templates at one time. But you have to keep track of it yourself because I don't, I don't see any way to to um, find those. Okay. So then, if you if you find one that you want. Beaumont Eye Care has a bunch of um, letters. A lot of people have this this template. It looks like. Um, if you want to view a letter, you can click on that, and this will show you the template for that letter. You can load that if that's one that you want. Uh, sorry, you can pick other ones. These are in this template. These are in my current template. Okay, and if you click on one, it loads it into the viewer. And then if you want to import that letter, you just hit import. And that will import that into your template. If you'd like to import a single tab, go back to the first tab and select the template that you want. Okay, and then go to add new tab. Okay. This shows the tabs that are from um, the template that you like. And these are your current tabs. And you can change if you double click or highlight one and click load, then it puts this current, this medical history tab in here. Okay, and this lists the field IDs in the current in this template. It lists the field IDs, the description, the type, and then you can either tell it when in, when you import it, it'll either add this field, you know, create a new field ID number in your template starting with the, the first number that's available. Okay? Or you can assign this, um, this uh, field ID to one of your current template IDs. So apparently my current template has 900. Okay, so say this equivalent, I've got this field in my template already, and it's field number 593. So I can click on that, and when it imports it, it's going to convert this field ID, FID uh, 229, it's going to make it 593 in my system. Okay, You can merge the text box or what, what type of uh, field it's going to be. You can merge the text in the field if you want to do that. You can merge the description. Uh, you can merge your F9 buttons. You can either replace the old ones with this 
you can uh, put this one on the top or on the bottom or you can ignore them and leave your current ones on and then this is this is how you can feel view the F9s that are in the current system I guess to decide if you what you want to do with them and another thing that you can do is you can import the tabs from a file so this isn't going to do any good because it's my own file but I can do that okay and that so say you found a template that you liked and you save the whole, you save the backup of that template um, and then later on you decide you just want to use some of the tabs or one of the tabs so you can load it here instead of having to uh, wait for the templates to import you can load it directly from here pick the item that you want to um, use load the tab and then select how you want to merge that in and then when you've got this set up how you want then you say import new tab and it will bring this it'll create a tab in your existing template just this single tab it doesn't bring the whole thing uh, and again you can do the letters the same way now there's something over here called remove unused fields and what that does is it takes your current template and it shows uh, what fields are not on a tab and when you open it up it comes with a check and it says the tab is zero okay so that means this, this field is not located anywhere so in theory you can delete that and not cause any problems if on a tab it tells you what tab it's on so you might have a field ID that's repeated several times it will only be listed on the first tab that it's encountered so it, it, it shows you what the empty ones are but the only way you can delete them you could potentially print a list and then go into your um, medical records edit medical records and delete those fields manually what I'm planning on doing is starting with a clear template it's just got this prescription and the drug RX tab and the ARRA tab then I'm going to go through and pick tabs individual tabs from templates that I like and just import those so I won't get all these extraneous field IDs that are not useful anymore now the problem with that is when I bring it in it's going to always rename add new tab it's going to uh, append mine okay and it's going to just renumber them when it when it appends it to my to my existing templates or tabs it's going to renumber in sequential order okay like at last our X button or finalize button you're going to have to redo those um, codes because when it's renumbered commands in these arrows are not going to be accurate for the new field IDs the other thing is if, if you want to replace one that you like okay uh, it's selected here these are the tabs these are the letters if you hit replace all medical records then it's going to overwrite your template in the, um, so now if I go over here and you can use your records while this uh, thing is open that con config utility is open so if I go over here and I leave and go back then you'll see that it looks different okay so now my old template is gone so if I want if I decide that I don't want this then I can go back into the medical record utility and I can restore from the backup and that's the one that I saved and it's restored okay so hopefully that gives you an idea of how this works